Here we go again, grinding some pork rinds. Luckily, it's not an absolutely necessary step. You can always just crush them up in the bag, but I was feeling extra and needed to use the food processor anyways. I hope you enjoyed that thumbs up transition. Anyways, let's get to the meat of the video. In your food processor, you're going to want to add in one pound of ground chicken. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next up, add in two eggs along with about a quarter teaspoon of fresh ground nutmeg. You'll want to use fresh just so you can get this awesome cross section. Blend this on low for about one minute. Place a gallon Ziploc bag into a cup and scoop in your noodle mixture. Refrigerate this while we prep some prosciutto. Meticulously remove the plastic from your prosciutto and just rip it up completely. We want to give this a nice rough chop. We'll be mixing this in with the cheese sauce and using some for the topping. Speaking of topping, let's get some Parmesan cheese shredded. You'll need about 2-3 to three tablespoons worth of it. Grind over a little more fresh nutmeg and then set this aside. For whatever reason, sharp shredded cheddar and sharp cheddar blocks weren't available at my store, so I had to get slices and shred it myself. Feel free to get a block or some pre-shredded stuff. Or dice it like I'm doing, I, I don't control your life. Let's quickly make this topping. You'll need 2 tablespoons of pork rinds all of your Parmesan, a little pinch of your cheddar, a good quarter teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Give this a toss and set aside. Let's get started on the cheese portion of this mac and cheese now. Set up a double boiler and add in one cup of heavy cream, all of your cheddar, half of your prosciutto, and something called creme de brie. We'll need about two ounces of it. Again, for whatever reason, my store didn't have any wheels of brie cheese left, but they had this. Turn the heat to medium on your stove and begin to whisk. You can add all of your ingredients at once here because they all come up to temp at the same time so the cheese shouldn't break. Hopefully, while you've been making that, you've had a pan of water heating over medium-high heat. Take your bag of chicken goo and cut a corner off. What you're going to want to do here is to apply even pressure at the top of the bag and using a spoon, knife, or fork, cut about half inch pieces. Once you have half of your batter cut into your water, give it a stir and let it cook for one to two minutes. Once done, place into a paper towel lined plate and let drain. Repeat until all of your batter has been used. Learning from my last video, we want to get some of the extra water out. Place your chicken noodles onto a lined sheet pan and season with salt. Place this into an oven that's been set to 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. This will help create a better texture later on. Grab your bowl of cheese and dump in your noodles and fold it in. I definitely didn't accidentally make too much cheese sauce. Grab a cooking vessel of choice and place your cheesy chicken noodles into it. Add in the remainder of your creme de brie or brie cheese in dollops around the entire dish. Next, top with your pork rind topping. And finally, scatter the remainder of your chopped up prosciutto. Place this into an oven that's been set to 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes or until the prosciutto is crispy. I top mine with an optional sprinkling of chives. This bite right here is for my Patreon subscribers. Thank y'all so much for the support. This next bite is for all of my subscribers. Thank you so much as well. And this outro is for everyone that should be liking and subscribing right now.